Hey guys, this is Amy Lee and welcome to a brand new episode inside of Amy Lee's Land of Love. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Tell me all about it in the comments down below. Now let's start the episode as we always do by saying a very big good morning to my lovely iron golems. Now I wonder where they are this morning. I'm guessing that Bert is on the hunt for the block of the day. And there he is. I found him. Good morning, Bert. Ooh, was this the block of the day, Bert? Oh, it's so pretty and majestic. I like how it's so different from this one and different from this one and different from this one and different from this one. It stands out with all of its beauty. Ah, uh, oh, okay. Bert has already moved on. All right, now let's see if we can find Big Bertha. And there she is. Hi, Big Bertha. Big Bertha, no, I'm right here, Big Bertha. Turn around and you'll see me. Hey, Bertha, that's it. Look down, Bertha. There we go. You are so adorable. And Bertha, your eyeballs are shining just like the red M&Ms today. My favorite. Have a great day, Bertha. I'm going to go ahead and feed those doggies. Excuse me, Bert. Good job, buddy. We've got to say good morning to those kitties as well. Hi, kitty cats. How are you guys doing? Are you having a good morning? Oh, my goodness. Look at all of this cat floof on my bed. Ah, uh, it's okay. I forgive you. Good morning, Nemo. Every time I do that, I kind of remind myself of the crazy little girl in the movie that is like fishy, 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 fishy. You know what I mean? And oh, my goodness. Look at my butt. It's dancing. <laughs> I dig it. Okay, enough butt dancing. Let's go see those doggos. Good morning, doggies! Who's ready for their breakfast? Wait a minute, Mittens, what are you doing in here? <coughs> no, Mittens, you are not a dog, you are a snow golem! <coughs> mittens, stop barking, you crazy gooseberry! Oh my goodness, Mittens, you drive me insane! But anyway, are you guys ready for your breakfast? I've got potato for you guys. No, you don't want potato. How about steak? <laughs> they sure do love their steak. Loves it. Here you go, little boomer. Good job, buddy. We have Max over here. We have Romeo. We have Mars. We have little Storm. Over here, we also have little Lexi. Good job. You sit right there, Lexi, you little cutie patootie. We have Lola. Over here, we have Destiny. Good job, Destiny. We have Luna. And last but not least, we have Sailor. <coughs> oh, Mittens, you want some steak as well? There you go, you crazy gooseberry. Okay, now which doggy should we take with us today? I wonder. No, Mittens, you're not a real doggy. Okay, so the last episode we took Boomer, so I'm thinking we should take... Hmm, how about Luna? Would you like to come with me today, cutie? Good job. Alrighty, follow me, the Luna, and Mittens, please get back to your room. No, don't ignore me, Mittens. In fact, let's see if Mr. Frost and Blizzard can help us. Hey, guys, hey. Mr. Frost, Blizzard, do you guys think you can help me get Mittens back in his room? Yeah, I know it's not a very easy task, but you know what? I'll leave this door open and hopefully he'll wander back in, or you guys can actually try and get him back in. That will be a big help. <laughs> Loves it. Have a great day, you guys. So now let's go see Grandfather Oak and then go down to the cute recruit patch and then we're going to get on with today's mission. Ah, Grandfather Oak, don't you just look spiffing. Look at that happy little face. I sure do love my grandfather. Alrighty then, cute recruit patch time. I sure do love having a cute recruit patch. It is awesome and I cannot wait to show you guys this week's cute recruit. And that cute recruit is Isla! I'm picking Isla because she sent me this awesome drawing on my Facebook page. You can see it's of me and all of the series that I've done. You can see Race to the Moon on there and Pixamon and lots of other awesome shows. So thank you very much, Isla. And welcome to the cute recruit patch, you little cutie patootie. And also don't forget to check out www.amily33.co.uk if you would like some official Amy Lee merchandise. Alrighty, now let's get on with our mission. And we made 
here and my goodness that was tiring geez i wish we could have an ice cold smoothie to cool down with which is exactly what we are gonna have because today we are gonna build ourselves a smoothie bar <coughs> i know right how exciting is that i cannot quite even i have been busy collecting some supplies we are gonna build it mostly out of jungle wood and all that kind of stuff it's gonna look absolutely awesome now I thought of building it here right by this giant lake because we could actually turn this area into like a little mini beach area. I thought that'd be a pretty good idea. So the first thing we're going to do is the boring part. We are going to start building the foundation and building a whole bunch load of wool. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll come back and you guys can help me with the fun stuff. later that same evening now that wasn't so hard was it now i know it looks kind of plain but trust me i think this is gonna look awesome so what we want to do now is actually install the smoothies and the first thing we're gonna do is kind of make like a bench area i'm kind of thinking more jungle wood along here will look pretty darn awesome we are gonna end up using a lot of jungle wood you guys but hey I think it'll be worth it. Okay, now the fruits that I have picked for our smoothies are, of course, we've got apples, carrots, and melons, because apparently a carrot is a fruit. I mean, it's a vegetable, and it does appear in a lot of smoothies. Has anyone actually had a carrot smoothie? I don't think I have, but I'm wondering what it would be like. Maybe, like, orange and carrots could be pretty good? I don't even know. Talking of, don't you think Minecraft needs to add, like, way more food? I mean, what kind of food would you guys like to see added put it down in the comments down below now if i could add something to vanilla minecraft in terms of food i think i'd like to add something like strawberries and avocados uh maybe grapes that kind of thing i think that'd be awesome but anyway let's get back to the present day what we are going to do is grab some wool and we're going to grab some glass and then we're going to go on back over to our smoothie bar area like so and we're going to remove the pieces of wood here. We're going to remove maybe about two by two. Or actually, maybe that could work. And another one here. And then one on the end. Now that's done, we need to actually add the smoothies. And of course, you guys, we need to use our imaginations. And we're going to imagine that this is actually apple smoothie. Indeed, we are. And then we have the lime. Um which i'm gonna guess is the watermelon i mean i guess watermelon should be red but hey it's imagination time it doesn't always need to make sense now does it and then this will be the carrot smoothie juice goo kind of stuff all right wicked now let's get the glass we're gonna put some orange stained glass on here and um some green here and then finally the red and as you can see it's kind of like you know like a smoothie pump kind of place you know what i mean i kind of dig it i know what i mean i see do. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some hoppers and we're gonna also get some item frames You know, I don't think we need this glass anymore. Let's go ahead and grab our fruits and vegetables Oh my goodness, what if we made a potato smoothie? That sounds delicious Actually, it really does not. It totally does not sound delicious. Okay, now what we are gonna do is add some item frames on the top here, like so. We're gonna grab our apple and pop that in there, and then uh, let's pop the carrot in this one, and then finally, the watermelon. Ah, I love it. This actually looks really cool, you guys. We're gonna add some hoppers here, like so. So now it looks like we can pump out the smoothies. I know, right? I'm a genius. I'm actually a genius. Wait, what did I do? Oh, Amy, I thought you were a genius. Okay, let's pop our melon back in, like so. Wicked. I love it very so much, Lee. Okay, the next thing I want to do is kind of add like a bar area and i'm thinking like if we go like here we're gonna go around 
We should add like a trap door here and maybe like a stair, which will be kind of like a till area. And then let's add some more item frames here and add some more pictures of fruits. So then the customers will know exactly what is available to order. I dig it muchly. Okay, I'm gonna make a stair and make a trap door. There goes the trap door and then the stair, which will actually be the till goes right here. I dig it, you guys. This actually looks wicked cool. I love it so very much. There are no evens to give out. I'm just so super happy. Is this even? It so is not. Okay, so we need to add a bit more jungle um, wood over here. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. Um, I keep breaking my face every time I jump down. Let's see if this will kill me. <gasps> okay, I didn't die. That's good. All right, so now we want to add like some seating area or something. So let's go around like one, two, three, four, five. Um, uh, maybe one more like so there we go wicked and do the same on this side um, is that evening? It is now. And then we want to extend the flooring of this jungle wood. Um, so let's do that real super quick. And then we're going to add some roof uh, detail, which I was thinking we could use um, jungle leaves for that. You know what I mean? It will be greasy. But anyway, let's get this floor done. I did it, Luna. Are you proud? <coughs> oh, of course she is. Okay, the floor is all done. I also had another idea that we could use some fences around here just to look even more jungle-like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm wondering if we can actually make like jungle fences instead of just the normal oak wood fences. I don't know, but we are gonna go ahead and find out. Oh, Amy, see, I knew you were a genius. Okay, that should be enough fences for now. So what we're gonna do is um, not that. Although we could add some kind of like tiki kind of style torches. I think that would look pretty cool too. All right, uh, let's see if we can go up like this. Um, in fact, maybe we want to get the uh, leaves first, the jungle leaves. I think that might be a good idea. I've got loads of dirt somewhere right here. So maybe if we actually do the roof first, then that will give me a little bit more room to play with. I know what I mean, kids. I know what I mean. Okay, let's do this. Five minutes later. And we are done, wicked cool. You know what? I really need to eat. Let me just munch on some apples. Okay, now I want to extend the leaves. You know what? They don't look really jungly. Do you think it's because of the biome that we're in? Maybe. We're going to extend this out here a little bit. And then we can actually pop uh, the fences on top. Do you know what I mean? So it kind of adds like some kind of like, um, what do you call it? Like a frame or something? I don't even know, but I kind of dig it. I think it looks pretty marvelous. Let's do the same on the other side. And there we go. Doesn't it look cool? I love the effect the fences give. That is awesome. We need to do the same on the other side. And I definitely do want to add some tiki torches somewhere. We also need to uh, make a few more stairs oh in fact i do have a few more here we can use these here as little stairs um facing the wrong way amy let's add another one here there we go love set and let's get rid of this one and add the stair here there we go look at that the perfect seating area i dig it okay let's get some more fences oh you know what we've got some cocoa beans this will add like a really cool effect somewhere uh, let's add some cocoa beans growing at the top here I think that will look pretty darn awesome. I do want to make the tiki torches, but where? Where would they fit? Maybe just like a couple like right here. Um, let's add a little torch on top. Okay, we did it. Okay, loves it. It's kind of like a little bit out of place there, don't you think? I don't know. We'll keep it there for now. Maybe I will move it in the future, but there we go. We've got my little tiki torches. Also, I've got some glowstone. We could add some glowstone up in the corners of the tree here. That'll be great. <laughs> Amy, why do I always make those weird noises? Okay, I did it! Dad, are you proud? Are you? Okay, I'm loving this place. This place looks awesome! We could maybe do with a couple more seating areas in the middle here, but I think this smoothie bar is pretty much complete. What do you think, Luna? Yep, she says that's awesome. But I'm afraid that is all the time we have left for this episode, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, don't forget to check out www.amily33.co.uk 
for some wicked cool official Emily merchandise. Also, check out my Patreon page if you would like to support me and my crazy adventures. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Good.